everybody, Brian from the Western Wanderers here, and today I have a short review for you of the REI Quarter Dome One Tent. Now what this is, is a uh, entry level backpacking tent that holds one person. Uh, it's very lightweight, the trail weight is two pounds, two ounces. Um, you know, you can get super lightweight tents that weigh less than that, but uh, for the price, this is, uh, this is fairly reasonable. You can find these for around $150. Um, you know, it's about the price of most entry level tents. If you were going to get a two man tent, it would probably be a little more expensive. So, if you're looking to save a little money and also wait on the trail, the uh, Quarter Dome One is a great idea. One downside about the Quarter Dome One is it does not come with a footprint when you buy it at the store. You do have to buy a footprint separately. That is unfortunately how most tent manufacturers sell tents. Uh, I think the footprint costs about $25, $30 and probably adds a few ounces to your trail weight. So uh, without any further ado, let's set this thing up and check it out. All right guys, so here's the footprint. We're gonna be setting this up first. If you don't have one, uh, it's okay. The nice thing about getting a footprint that's actually matched to the tent is you can hook in the, um, the poles into the footprint to prevent everything from flying away when you're out in high winds. All right, next thing we're gonna do here is go ahead and take out the contents from the stuff sack. As you can see, this tent comes with uh, the tent itself. It also has some poles for setting it up and a rain fly. Now the rain fly does have quite a large vestibule on it. One problem with this tent is it is a one man tent, so if you have a large backpack, fitting yourself and the backpack in the tent can be kind of a pain. Um, so the nice, vest the nice big vestibule makes it uh, easy to store your backpack outside the tent and still have it not get wet. All right, the first thing to remember when uh, setting this tent up, especially if you're setting it up with the footprint, is one side of the tent has a small point on it, and you wanna get the side with the point and the, on the footprint and on the tent matched up. And then the poles on this tent are also super easy. They're all in one big connected jumble, so all you have to do is straighten them out and attach them. Uh, it sounds easy, but I sometimes have trouble setting up tents, so it'll be kind of interesting to see what happens. One thing that is nice about this tent and a lot of other newer tents is that there are small little eyes for the ends of the poles to clip into. Uh, makes it a lot easier than trying to work with tie downs or whatever else. And then instead of having little sleeves for the poles to go through, the poles attach with these little clips straight on. Again, really easy to set up. Now because there are no poles on a couple of the sides of this tent, it is necessary to stake the tent out. Pretty much in any conditions, even if you're not expecting wind, you kind of have to stake it out or else it'll collapse on you. And there you go. Now the REI Quarter Dome One is very simple. It only has one door, so there's no way to exit on the other side. But if it's a one person tent, there's really no need for more than one door. They hop inside here. You can see that there's ample room to sit up uh, if you're inside just hanging out. Uh, it's not really the kind of tent that you want to hold out in during a storm or anything, just because you know you don't have a lot of space. But uh, there is plenty of space to sleep and plenty of place, space to roll around at night. The rain fly for this tent is fairly straightforward to set up. It attaches to the same points that the poles attach to the footprint and the rest of the tent. Once the rain fly is fully constructed, you can see that the vestibule has plenty of space to store quite a large backpack. 
you can see that even with the rain fly on, there's still a lot of light in the tent. There's also a small vent that can be opened in case there's excess moisture in the tent and you need to air it out. So at the end of the day, I really like the REI Quarter Dome One. Um, unfortunately, the one downside it has is because it's kind of a limited pull structure inside, um, if you get a lot of wind coming on, especially if you get a lot of wind coming on this side right here where there's not a lot of support, uh, it can kind of collapse into you at night. Now, that being said, I did sleep in it in quite heavy winds when I was down in the Tri-Cities, uh, just did a KOA, but um, if you turn it into the wind so it's basically streamlined, it's, uh, it's very strong. So you just have to be kind of careful when you're setting it up to make sure you do set it up correctly, and if you're expecting a lot of wind, you plan for it. Well, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed my review of the REI Quarter Dome 1. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. I'll try to answer them. Uh, I enjoy doing these videos a lot. If you want to see more, you can go on our Western Wanderers page on YouTube. Uh, we have more gear reviews and also destination videos. We love visiting destinations and giving you guys some information on them. Uh, but until next time, I guess I'll see you on the trail. Thanks a lot. If you're looking for a tent that might be slightly roomier, but also very similar to the Quarter Dome 1, check out Ellen's review of the REI Quarter Dome 2 Plus by clicking here.